Have you ever wanted to really express yourself, but that inner voice kept you from doing so? Like you really wanted to express love or you wanted to express some sort of artistic form like dance or something along those lines, but that inner voice kept you from doing so? It seemed like there was something within you that was hindering that expression. I know I've experienced that. I think we've all experienced that. I'm going to talk about in this video about how I have experienced that and what it's like to live as that limited expression and how to overcome that limited expression so that you can be the unique and unlimited version, the best version of yourself. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Silas Valentine. I'm a self-realization teacher and life artist. Have you ever wanted to express yourself but were afraid to? Anytime you live under law, you're going you're gonna to experience this. Anytime you live within the, the religious or societal boundaries or walls, you're going to feel like there's lots of expressions that are being suppressed or hindered. I know for me growing up as a Christian, I, I was taught all kinds of laws. There were so many rules and laws that suppressed the unique expression that I was. And I'm not just talking about being a child and being told not to laugh or play too loud or, or being silly. I'm, I'm talking about laws like I couldn't listen to secular music. Well, the thing was, I was free to listen to secular music, but I was living under this law. And as a result of living under the law, what I did was I hid the secular music. I still listened. I just hid it from my parents. And then at the end of the day, I would feel really guilty about listening to that secular music. Because every time you're living under a law, you're going to feel guilt and you're going to feel shame. You're going to feel some sort of condemnation. And there are lots of people that are living under a law and saying they're free. And they're like, I don't care what anybody thinks about me. But the bottom line is when you're doing that, you're not actually living in freedom. You're living in rebellion. And rebellion is not freedom. Rebellion is you're living under law and you're pissed off about it. Freedom is being free or uh, being exempt from law. And see, the thing is, what, what, it did, what did it for me was that I began to realize that I was loved. And the more that I began to realize this unconditional love, that I was love and that I was unconditionally loved. My parents didn't intend to do that. Your parents probably haven't intended to force some sort of law upon you that if you didn't fulfill, you were not really accepted or they weren't really pleased in you. They didn't probably intend to do that. That's just what they were taught. You know, I think a lot of times we've all grown up in some system in which if you don't perform in the exact right way, you're not accepted. If you don't get A's in school, you're not accepted. If you, don't, if you don't perform in the right way as far as doing chores, then you're grounded. If you, don't, uh, you know, if you don't perform correctly within your religious environment or religious sect, you're not accepted. If you don't worship the Lord like this or meditate like that or pray like this, then you're not really pleasing to God or to your parents or to your spiritual leaders. And the bottom line was that what this does, what all this law does is it suppresses your, your unique expression. It suppresses and ultimately hinders the uniqueness of your existence. And so, so I want to I wanna encourage you to be that unique expression that you are. The only way that that freedom is really going to rise up within you, even now you might feel it just rising up, bubbling up within you. And the only way that freedom is really going to rise in its expression so that you can discover even more expressions that maybe you've never even thought of. Maybe they've never even entered your mind yet. But there are so many things that you ultimately want to express. You want to share with the world, but you've been afraid to. That thing that's bubbling up in you really can only be released when you know that you know that you know that you are loved. When you, re when you know deep within, in the most inner parts of who you are, that you are unconditionally loved, accepted, and valued. See, when you realize the value that you really have, when you realize how loved you really are, this, there's no limits upon you anymore. And in this place, you're free to begin to tap into that divine potential, that limitless divine nature that you and I both carry and both share in. So I want to encourage you today. 
Don't rebel against the laws of your parents or don't rebel against the laws of some sort of religious society or the governmental system. You don't need to rebel against it. You simply need to realize the truth. The freedom begins here. That the freedom that you and I both have is innately ours and no one can take this freedom from us. Only you have the power to take away or to remove the freedom. Only you have the power to, to uh, keep that freedom from expressing itself. And only you have the power to release that freedom to the world. And the world needs your unique manifestation. It needs your unique expression of love. Because every time you express your unique expression, every time you express your unique, the uniqueness of your love, the uniqueness of your art, the uniqueness of whatever that might be, whether it's physically in dance or in, in, in painting or in speech, when you, you, when you release your unique expression, the world sees it and they begin to shift and they begin to change. I'm talking about the unfiltered expression of freedom. I'm not talking about the filtered version or the watered down version of you. I'm talking about the unfiltered, the raw, the perfect, unique expression of your true self. When that is released, the world changes. When that is released, people that experience that expression, they want what you have. And ultimately, that thing plants this seed deep within them that continues to grow and grow and grow until eventually it will overtake them too. And they will let go of the restraints. They will let go of pushing down that freedom in their own existence and they'll let it out. So I just want to encourage you today. Know that you're loved. You are so loved. Listen, if your family has turned their back on you, your friends have turned their back on you because of your expressions of freedom, I'll be your friend. I will support you, I will celebrate you, and I will absolutely cheer you on from the rooftops. Cheer every expression on. I don't need to understand every expression to cheer it on. I don't need to under, understand every expression that you might express yourself with to, to celebrate it. I can simply know that if it's coming from you, it's beautiful. So I'll be your friend. There are people out there, if, if, if your friends and family have turned their back on you because of some of your expressions, don't get mad. Don't, 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 get, uh, don't get angry about that. Don't get rebellious. Simply find the individuals that will celebrate your life, that will celebrate your uniqueness. Find them because they're all around you. you I know you have them here within, within this ecstasis culture, and I know you can find them in many, many other places. So find those individuals that celebrate you. And simply fall in love with yourself again. Realize how beautiful you are, how valued you are, and, and the valuable, how valuable you are to the society around you, to your friends around you, and to the systems. And I'm going to tell you right now, the more that you and I express those freedoms, the more the societal systems, the religious systems begin to collapse. Because your freedom is dangerous to the religious system. Your freedom is dangerous to the world systems. It's dangerous to the walls and the boundaries that people have established and set up to, to protect themselves. It's dangerous. So I just want to encourage you to be that unique expression that only you are. To be that wild, free expression that only you are. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe for more life-changing content. If you want a deeper dive, check out our online institute at ecstasisinstitute.org.